Canvas is a software tool used to unlock 3D printing with a Palette 3 and your FFF 3D printer. You're going to need a Palette 3 or a Palette 3 Pro, an STL file that you'd like to print, your choice of FDM or FFF 3D printer, and of course, a laptop, tablet, or mobile device with internet access. We have an additional setup guide that can help you get all your hardware working together. You can find that at www.mm3d.co slash setup. However, the focus for this video is Canvas. At its core, Canvas gives you access to slicing and support tools typically found in many other slicing software, while also unlocking a suite of painting tools to help tell the paired up palette 3 and printer combo how to use up to 8 different spools of filament to create your print. The final result is a multi-material print completed in a single printing operation. Canvas is a cloud-based solution. Accessing it is as easy as a search on your favorite web browser. Type canvas3d.io into your browser and, if you haven't already, make an account. Once you've made an account, you're almost ready to make your first project. If you've never set up a printer or your Palette 3 before, you'll have to make profiles first by selecting these options from the leftmost menu. By default, Canvas includes a number of preset printer profiles and material profiles, and using these is typically the best way to get started. For the sake of this video, we're going to be using a Prusa Mark III and standard PLA. In the main project window on Canvas, you can also quickly tab into the other projects you're working on on Canvas, or the other devices you have connected to your Canvas account. As you can see from the device view on my account, this Palette 3 is properly connected, the green light indicating all is good to go. By clicking on that palette, you can access a number of other features, including remote extruding features, temperature and logs, a webcam view to monitor your print remotely, which is very handy if you're away from your printing device, as well as some finer tuning controls for motor, fan, and other project files you've previously printed with this palette. Now starting a project is as simple as clicking a button, the new project button in fact, and then adding your STL files to your Canvas project. This can be done by clicking the Add Models button, or by dragging the STL files from a folder on your computer into your project view on Canvas. Once you've added your model or models to your Canvas project, things are looking a little different now. A familiar green button persists in the top left of this view to add additional models to your project. Under that is the toolbox, where you can manipulate the orientation, scale, and position of the models you've added to the project. Under the toolbox is the materials tile, where you'll select color, material profile, and splice tune settings to be used by your palette 3. We have a guide and a live stream on splice tuning to help you get set up with working with those different materials. For this video, we're just going to be using Mosaic PLA, so that generic profile will work perfectly. Center stage in this project view is a representation of your printer's build platform. Your models and transition tower will live here as you play around in Canvas. In the top right corner of this view, you'll notice your printer profile. Underneath that is the devices dropdown which will let you select which palette device is connected to this particular project. By clicking a Palette 3 Pro, you automatically add 8 materials to this project by default. And a Project Settings button. This will open an additional window to fine-tune some of the printing parameters for your specific printer. Last but not least, we have the Objects tile. This is how you select, group, and align specific models for manipulation when using the toolbox. This tile is also home to the oh-so-important paintbrush tool, where you can, as you may have guessed, paint your imported STLs for advanced multi-material printing. One way to quickly color your project in Canvas is by using the Materials panel in the Project View. By selecting these materials and dropping them directly onto different objects that are part of your project, you can quickly color them for multi-material printing. However, for this video, we will use the painting view instead, as we need a little more control for painting those finer structures. Clicking that paintbrush button and selecting one of the objects on our build platform then enters the painting view. Here we can paint on our model directly with a number of intuitive brush tools, similar to paint or another tool you might have used. These tools take the shape of buttons in the top left corner of canvas. Underneath our buttons we have a number of color swatches available to us. These are representative of the real-life materials we'll be using to make our model on our printer, and can be edited to represent specific material profiles as well. The facet brush, represented by a triangle, allows us to paint single triangles found in our model for the most precision. The sphere brush allows us to take a more conventional approach and fill an entire region of our model with a rounded brush. 
Stamping paints an image directly onto our project from an uploaded JPEG or PNG file. Of course, the Fill Bucket tool allows us to automatically fill a predefined region in Canvas or a specific model that we've uploaded if we've uploaded multiple models. We're not going to go through stamping in this particular video, and we've done so in some of our other support materials, but we'll quickly show you how to paint this model for printing using the other tools we mentioned earlier. We can easily arrange models on the Build platform by hitting the More button and selecting the Lay Face to Bed option. By selecting the bottom of the model, I can now align it to the face of the bed. This allows me to see some of the aspects of the model hidden by the default perspective we had before. This should also help when painting more complex models like this one. Now that painting is complete, our project is ready to be sliced for printing. Before we slice our model, it's important to note that you now have the option of two slicer engines on Canvas. You can use the classic Kiss Slicer or Slicer. This allows you to customize the slicing experience with various different feature sets. For faster slice times, we suggest using the Slicer engine. Hitting that big green slice button in the bottom right corner will finally get the wheels turning and make the final preparations for printing with Canvas. Once that progress bar is complete, the view changes again, revealing some printing statistics on the project size, materials used by length, and a layer by layer scroll bar on the right hand side of your project. You'll notice that green splice button has now become a send to palette button, indicating you're properly connected to your PAL3 device. To the left of that is a download and reslice button. The download button allows you to download the project file directly to your computer or mobile device. This allows you to move that file in a more rudimentary way using a USB key if you're not connected to your PAL3 directly. Whichever way we choose, once we send that sliced project file to our PAL3 device and printer, we can then run through the setup there and get our print started. After about seven hours of printing, you can see we have our successful completed print job. Canvas, coupled with PAL3, give us the opportunity to create complex multicolor models in a single job and take new creative approaches to FFF printing.